Okay, welcome back to Tip 50 Targeted Traffic Methods for Online Businesses. In this video, we're going to be talking about purchasing solo ads. And as I've said in my first point there, that you can build an entire list, uh, or you can start building your list um, by spending a little bit of money uh, purchasing solo ads. And basically, a solo ad is going to be um, where your, uh, your ad or your link or your website is going to be the only link and the only uh, thing that's going to go out in a list owner's email. So in other words, they already have a subscriber list, and you're going to pay them for the privilege of sending out your offer as the only thing that's going to be going out in their email. And uh, this is going to be a great benefit to you, of course, because uh, you are going to get exposure to people that you would not have gotten exposure to otherwise. So you're purchasing the opportunity to get in front of, uh, for, of, of, a, of a different audience. Now I have here, uh, here that you want to use a service that has been reviewed. So you don't want to just buy a solo ad blind. You don't want to just go on the internet and just buy one, uh, buying one for the first person you see. You typically want to see what others have experienced with a solo ad provider. And I, I said that a Warrior Forum and Digital Point Forum can be good places for that. So let's go to the Warrior Forum and take a look at what it would be like to look for someone who would be doing solo ads. Now, if I were going to look for a solo ad, I'd come to the front page of the Warrior Forum. I'd go to the Warrior Special Offers Forum and go to the Classified Ad section. Classified Ad section is going to have different people providing solo ads. Here's one right here. 100 to 500 solo ads, 10% over delivery. Okay, so they'll tell you the parameters that there that there was. So in other words, you're going to pay for 100 clicks for $55. So so you're basically paying that uh, they're going to get you uh, 100 people to click your link. High quality solo ads at an affordable price. Here's another one. Okay, so everyone's going to have different parameters uh, as to what they provide. Now, here's the here's the the, the 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 benefit of doing something. You want to find someone that has reviewed the service. Okay, so uh, if if you don't if if you if you see uh, lots of uh, you know lots of, of negative or, or bad reviews or or bad service you don't want to go with that service if you see a lot of satisfied customers then yeah that's going to be a pretty good it's going to be a pretty good option for you and typically if somebody's having a really bad time they will actually write it into the thread okay so uh so the warrior form digital point form you're going to be able to find people different people that will allow you to send out your email to their subscriber list. Now um, you're going to get uh, you, uh, you want to either do one of two things. You want to uh, get people to opt into your list, okay? And you can do that, or you want to make a make a sale. Now you just want to make sure that your email is providing a really compelling offer, right? So so your email should really make them want to take action on whatever it is, even if even if you're just doing a giveaway. Now I have here as my fifth point that one of the things that you want to decide on is <clears throat> whether or not you want to actually provide an offer for sale or giveaway. Sometimes if you do a giveaway and you think, well, if I'm giving away something free, that will attract more people. It may attract more people, but it may not attract the right people and people that you eventually want to sell to. So uh, you want to be careful about whether or not you always do giveaways and solo ads. Okay, uh, the other thing you want to do is you want to ask uh, other marketers or bloggers in your niche. And in some cases, if you know someone has a subscriber list already, you can literally go and arrange your own. So in other words, you can really, just because someone hasn't doesn't advertise, doesn't mean they're not going to be willing to do a solo ad for you. And you can actually make offers to people who you know already have subscriber lists with whom you have built up some trust. And this is where uh, building relationships is going to matter. Because if, you, if, if a person knows that you produce high quality content and they're not going to do 
wrong by their subscribers by sending out your offer, they might be willing to send out your solo ad. As a matter of fact, they probably will be willing to send out your solo ad. So you really want to, again, uh, be building the kind of relationships with people um, where you can go to someone and ask them to send out an email for you so that you can get introductions to new people in your niche. And of course, when you do that, um, as you build up your subscriber list, you can then reciprocate and they can then uh, get an introduction to uh, your uh, subscribers. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in the next video.